Wack 100 speaks on CEO Chris 6ix9ine and the Treyway situation, and he also speaks on New Yorkers that play selective politics. What up, YouTube? This is Getty Radio back at you with another video. I want to give a big salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you? Let's get to the content. Okay, Wack 100 speaks on the 6ix9ine situation once again. And he speaks about the situation that was going on around that time and everyone that was involved including Jim Jones and other characters that was involved in the mix up of that whole situation right he also speaks on how New Yorkers were quick to paint 6 9 as a rat when that paperwork came down but he says when the same paperwork came down about other people who may have respect in the street or in the music industry that those allegations were either ignored and were not met with the same veracity as other people it gets interesting I'm gonna let y'all get to it shout out to my guy at one minute hip hop shout out to Wack One 100 and 100 ENT. This is Getty Radio. Let's go. But we got to remember, Nuke got told on because he had minimum to do with it because I personally had Nuke pull back. When we made that call to Jim Jones, I'm like, yo, what y'all doing with this kid with rainbow hair with a red bandana? What y'all doing, bro? We got on the phone, called him from out here out there. What y'all what y'all doing? Whack respectfully, it's a New York movement, you know, this, 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 that. We got it under control, this, 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 that. All right, I call Nuke. I say, Nuke, pull back off of that, bro. It ain't gonna go right. Nuke is the one I called when 6 9 it was getting into it with Trippy Red. That's who I called to fix that. I get a call from my man who was managing Trippy. You know, whack, you got some friends in New York. They say this happened, this just happened. I called Nuke. Nuke said, I'm glad you called. We just sent to, to go at Trippy. We know what hotel they at. Let me pull them off. It's real talk, right? So Nuke and them pulled back early, early. That one that was coming on the club, I was running his mouth. Billy Otto. They got rid of him early. He was calling me. He was living in Atlanta way back then. And Nuke pulled back early. That's why I was shocked when they even pulled Nuke into some, cause he pulled back like that first, maybe three, four months, he was out the way. Shoddy whole mission was to get 6 9 away from anybody with some strength, straight up. If you go look at those last eight months, it was just them two. You know, I don't know. I, I, I don't believe none of these no more. You know, I believe uh, uh, eight out of the ten is running in the circle is, is either telling of potential rats and uh, crime don't pay anyway. You know what I mean? Whatever you get out the streets, you're going to give it to them times ten behind the wall. So, you know, I don't give you made a million dollars in a year. Now, we're going to see how much you lose in them 25 years. Cool to be, a.k.a. such and such, such said that Daniel Hernandez, a.k.a. 6 9 paid him to go have shots fired at Chief Keep in front of the W Hotel. Boom, 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 boom. Here come the young bozo. Yeah, but whack. That was part of his cop out. He had to tell him, no, 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 no. Anytime you implement anyone other than yourself, yes, tell it. The only nigga that I seen New York is against was Alpo. And he never told on nobody from New York. That's the crazy part. Could nobody in New York say he told on, right? He told I ain't telling on nobody from Harlem. I'm the only one that's going to say that I'm losing a lot of respect for people, bro. I had respect for because I watch what they do, things they say, lies they tell, and I know it be lies, bro. Like, I, watch, I sit back and watch it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, so y'all want to play industry politics, but when the next motherfucker play them, is, 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 you can't. Like, I watch it. Like, I sit back and I watch it. It's a whole lot of people that they try to put in this jacket zone, bro. Y'all know Zim. I can tell you some Zim that I know you heard, but you don't want to say because you're a New York nigga. From everywhere, I say it. You know what I mean? I don't care. I'm, I, I done tired okay, of Okay, watch What's this. Up? And this is close to home. Let's keep it gangster. They tried to put a snitch jacket on K Slay. That's a fact. God oh, damn. Pa, wrote. Yeah, that's a fact. They definitely did. But the popularity vote drowned it out. That's a fact. Come on. Damn. I ain't know you. Yeah. Yes, sir. What you oh, mean? Yeah, I'm really yeah, like, yeah. look, when they called me, what did I call him? Right there on the spot, right? Slay like on the phone, right? This is that nothing. Well, he said, whack. I know you move. I say, homie, where the work? What? Where the work? Send the work. So never provide the work. Slay was like, yo, you got whack number. Send it. Send it to whack. Where the work? They could never come with the work. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of them off the streets. They're chatted, but they won't say it loud because 
that would have been a blow to New York. Hey, man, WAC 100 has been speaking on this for a long time. He feels that New Yorkers practice selective politics when it comes down to the streets and the culture of the streets when it comes to the stance about snitches, right? He says that when a snitch is from New York, New Yorkers are quick to bury it. They don't put it on blast. They don't throw up the paperwork and they don't ostracize the guy like other places do. Now, if there's anybody in here from New York, will you please let me know, is this true or is this not true, right? Do you protect your snitches do you protect your so-called rats right do you care about the image of new york so much so that even if someone is proven to be a snitch in your community you're not going to speak on it and you're not going to ostracize that person why because you look at that like it's a blow to new york as whack 100 has just explained i'm gonna need new york to stand up and speak on this man please let me know in the comment section if this is true or not let's get back to it you know honey they should start dancing with it so uh, yeah, it's a whole lot of them. They didn't push on. Some they had work. Some they got to work. They had that rap with them for three years. <clears throat> exactly. So, a lot of them had records. You're right. Which you know what that does. CEO Chris been a rap. They up they points. It was CEO Chris is on the street. Oh, move me. He, he, he but was CEO Chris is CEO Chris. He sound like oh, they go from city to city and work. CEO Chris, look, look. It's, I got like CEO Chris around me right now. But they only around me at certain times, bro. That's what I mean about the whole bozo movement, bro. The whole bozo movement is we talking this gangster talk. Hey, bro, why y'all got this square over here while y'all talking about how y'all gonna rob this nigga over there, bro? You's a bozo. You more of a bozo than him. He already a bozo. He certified. His license says bozo civilian. But then you got this gangster coach. I'm a gangster, this, this. And then you're going to be sitting in the car with this in the front seat. Talking about how y'all going to go rob this or what you going to do to this. And y'all talking about he's a rat. Nah, then you use accessory to the rat. You empowered the rat. You gave the rat the mother for cheese. You told him what to say. Rat by association. Yeah, you told him what to say. That's what I mean by these old fake gangsters. Oh, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. Bro, just because you born in poverty. Just because you put a tattoo on your face and you throw up the muff sign don't make you no gangster, huh? At all. You sitting here in front of, you just met a three minutes ago, be like, yeah, we finna go rob with the, with the woman and we're riding them on the corner. Then we know that we're gonna get at her tonight and pull off in front of some total strangers. But there was gangsters. Got it here, man. How do these people know what they know? How does CEO Chris know what he know? Yeah, he was supplying the jails and all that. He was, he was. They was using him. I mean, like you saying, well, I'm not saying you. I'm saying I'm agreeing okay. with you. Okay, let's start him with for this. the wrong tip. CEO Chris's character says he does what? He's not a street dude like that, right? From what I hear, they say he, but they using him to do all this other shit. What happens when he gets caught? Don't I got family. Yeah, that's the bozo bro, part about the whole thing. He gonna tell. That's, that's he the bozo. Tell. Wait, wait, wait. He been telling them, right? Y'all want to blame him, though, right? the, wanna blame him that you know. He ain't that, but you put him in all this, and then he get caught. Y'all see, this what they think. We gonna use him to do this. That way, it's on him if he get caught. Okay, oh, that's your way of thinking. So then he get caught. Well, they can't put it on me. Yeah, that was him. He tell them, man. They man, I, I was working for these people. They had me doing it. Oh yeah. Well then, look, we are gonna let you keep working for him. We are gonna wire you up. Go ahead on, go work for him. Then we are gonna let keep you free. So is he wrong? Who? Is he wrong for getting back at the motherfuckers who knew they was lining him up? This is a civilian now. This ain't no. Y'all want to say, oh, if he does, uh, if he commits a crime, he ain't no civilian. Where you think the term white collar criminal criminal came from? Civilians be doing that type. Started doing that type. They, they should have never threw him in the whip. I mean. Well, they should have never been in the way. Bottom line is he came in the door as a rapper. He didn't come in the door as no street. So they they misappropriated him with that bull anyway. Yeah, ain't finna man. I don't know. I'm CEO a CEO Chris right is now. the first six nine. You heard you heard what? That's the first six nine. He came around rapping. He wanted to be homie. They threw him in the shit. He had a little play, a little badge. All right, we're going to use it for this. You And then, and then, and then hey, this is what it is, bro. Hey, but correct me if I'm wrong. I, th I thought the CEO Chris got caught up in a case on the West Coast or something. He came to New York working on it. He was already working. Like, he was, he, he was in the been tough. Yeah, he been to Like, he, like he catch a case. Right on the end, then go to another city and set up again. Like he do it over, like it's reduction. Damn, that's a cold. Well, that's why Wack is right about these. Bro, there ain't no cold. You fake ass gangster fakers. Can't no nigga just come around me, be around me. That's a fact. You weird ass niggas be around in 20, 20 minutes talking about, yeah, bro. Yeah, this my bro right here. Well, that then is y'all get mad 
when it do what he's supposed to do with you because that's what he do. It's your job to know what's what. And it's his job to, to convince you he ain't that. He doing his job better than you to trick and manipulate you and you mad at him. Can't be mad when a snake. That's bro. crazy. All right, I'm going to leave it right here, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. And in the second portion of this audio, Wag 100 is saying something really deep. He's talking about street dudes intermingling street activities with civilians. He's saying the reason why a lot of people is getting snitched on is because you're having yourself around civilians and you're talking about gangster things. You should not be talking about robbing, shooting, killing, selling drugs, or any type of things that go on in the streets around anybody who's a certified civilian. If you know that guy's a civilian and you're a street dude, why are you having these kinds of conversations? Why? Because if that person ends up in handcuffs behind closed doors and under that light getting interrogated by police officers or by the FBI, they're going to immediately revert right back to the conversations that they had or that they heard you have around them, right? And he's saying that you're playing the streets wrong if you're having them kinds of conversations around civilians, man. I think he has a point in that you should not be intermingling the two, but what if you're around a person who's acting like they're street and they're really not? How can you decipher who's really street, who's really not? How can you decipher who's going to rat, who's really not? How can you decipher who's going to hold you down, who's not, right? There is no way to kind of tell that, right? You got to be able to peer into someone's soul that you have to really know their background and where they really come from and their essence, right? And there is really no way of discerning that, right? So a lot of people find out a dude is not street. A lot of people find out a dude is not hardcore. A lot of people find out that dude don't have that kind of constitution until it's too late and you're on trial and they call a witness to the stand and that witness is your homeboy they get him on the stand and they ask him who's the trigger man and he points the finger at you and say you're the man you're the guy you're the og and all of the dirt was done at your behest and let's just be honest man everyone is not wholeheartedly into the street activity and into the street politics man some people are halfway in one foot in one foot out man some people are not willing to go to the penitentiary for the rest of their life when they can just simply give up some information and do half that time or even do a 16th of that time and a lot of people will take that door number one and say hey i got some information i'm willing to cooperate i don't want to do no time they may have to go to witness protection but hey it's better than being in the penitentiary in a box for a group of people that's probably not going to take care of you that's probably not going to write you letters not going to put money in your commissary and not even going to take care of your family check up on your children and some of your homeboys will even sleep with your lady while you're locked up the whole nine yards a lot of people are not willing to take that chance just to hold it down just to have a few people on the streets to say you're a real dude because you didn't tell on nobody especially if you're a civilian and freeway rick ross said it the best man he said snitching is a part of the game if you're gonna be in any part of the streets you have to expect to be snitched on at some point in time anyway that's been my show this is getty radio i appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe i will catch you guys on the flip side peace